NAM 2017, I get to meet a lot of good people doing this job and I'm getting to meet a dude who I've been wanting to meet for quite a while because I actually respect this guy a lot. Michael Sweet from Striper. This is deja vu, man. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it just? Lisa seems to be pretty pumped about the work that oh, I do. Dude, I'm so absolutely, and I want to take you up on your offer to come and shoot Striper too. Thank God. you. That'd be amazing. Thank you. Amazing. I, I really appreciate that. Thank you for saying that. And you said it on camera. Nice. Yeah, because it's killer. Thank Unbelievable. You. Thank you, Michael. That really means a lot to How me. How do you do this with two cameras? Oh, mate, you should see what I'm on the octopus. Damn, I'm going to have to do that again because the audio wasn't recording. Did I hit something? No, 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 no. I didn't sign out. This is deja vu, man. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it just? <laughs> the thing is, and I'm, I'm very blunt about this, I'm not a, a Christian guy at all, yet this guy actually gets me listening to messages. And you know what I take away from what you do is not the whole dedicate your life to Christ thing, but just the fact of be respectful to people. Yeah, be respectful, love people. Exactly. And inspire people. I and go you know for the what same the thing. thing is in this world there's a, there's some of that but not enough of that. No, that's exactly and right. It's sad. It, it really is sad. But the Striper's a band that's trying to change that. And I respect that. That's one of the things with you guys I genuinely respect is I've noticed look, I mean I'm 44 now, almost 45. During the 80s, there was such a big push on if you are not a part of our crew, we don't want to know, know. you. But you guys weren't ever like that. Never. And I, I appreciate Never. that, so Never. thank you. We, we try, dude. And we've always tried to put out good music, too. Oh, hell That's yeah. That's the flip side of the coin. There's car. no question of that. <laughs> Michael actually watched a couple of my videos, and uh, it turns out he likes my work. I'm stoked. Dude. Uh, the, the Steve Vai footage blew my mind, and we discussed you coming to shoot a striper show. I would be so So we got to make that happen. Happen, man. Thank you. And it'll be the best live striper video we've ever had. That's a pretty big Let's endorsement. Do it. Thank you. I'm up with that. You're on camera just now. Don't, just don't get this right here, okay? Yeah, every rock star is having trouble with that. No, me too. <laughs> but I, I use a goatee to hide it. I like it. That's the way to do it. <laughs> so you played with a bunch of different guitar brands, Carbon, Washburn. Uh, sorry, sorry, you're with Washburn now. Carbon, Jackson, Yeah, Jack, Jackson first. And then I wound up going to, I, I had Tom Anderson's for a while. Oh, I didn't know that. I played those for a while and had a relationship with them. And then I wound up doing PRS with Boston when yep. I was in Boston. And uh, then I did Carbon and now I'm with Washburn. So how did the Washburn relationship come about? Well, I tell you, I wound up reaching out to Gil and we went and had dinner together with a few other people uh, from Washburn. And instantaneously I was drawn to the company because of how nice they were. That, to me, that's everything. Relationships. These don't matter if you don't have that. Yep. If you have that, these are amazing. That makes you know sense. What I mean? And uh, they were also able to, the icing on the cake, build me uh, two guitars that I really am proud to play and happy playing. These feel amazing. Uh, and it's, it's, it's funny because these necks the, on my guitars are very similar to the PRS Custom 24 necks. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's what make, one thing that makes them different. They got the medium-sized frets. I don't like jumbo frets. Right. It's got the cutaway, which is real nice. It's, it's very lightweight. Nice access. Lightweight. Uh, the yellow inlays. My pickups are Seymour Duncan blackouts, but they're reversed. Oh, so you're and, using the bridge pickup in the neck and the neck exactly. pickup in the bridge. Exactly. And the reason why you could do that with these is they have the same output. Okay. Most uh, neck pickups, you can't do that. Of course. Too clean. These you can. And it sounds amazing that way. Done by mistake. I've got the Floyd uh -huh. upgrades, uh, bridge, uh, the, uh, the blocks, the brass blocks. So I was going to talk about that. I know Adam Reaver. So you're you're I, with FU Tone, yeah, right? I love Adam. So Yeah, so do I. He's Adam, very Adam cool is dude. amazing, and he's taking care of me. And uh, he is the guy, man. And, and he's, he's his, set his this parts are in this guitar. His, some of his Floyd upgrades are in this guitar. Right. Yeah. That's very cool. And, uh, and that's a big part of the tone, too. Totally. That's why this guitar is so thin and lightweight, but it doesn't sound it. Yeah because he really makes great stuff. This thing no sounds question. like a, in my opinion, like a friggin' Les Paul, you know? And uh, it's got the Floyd Rose, of course. Yep. And, uh, you know. Do they all come autographed? Uh, they, they don't. <laughs> of course not. They don't, but if anyone picks one up and connects with me somehow in person, I will gladly autograph well, it. Well, you're a gentleman, <laughs> aren't you? And then you're playing also the Priestess as well? I am playing the Priestess as well. I've got to make this quick because you've got somewhere to go and I've got somewhere yeah, to be. Yeah, dude, no worries. And this is it. an amazing guitar. Uh, Marzi designed this, obviously. Yep. You know, uh, I just did an interview with him as well. Yeah, and I just did a couple changes to it. You know, So Again, what changes? You moved uh, the, the volume? The, the, you've got one the, volume and one tone? Yeah, one. I've got these uh, volume and a tone and a, and a selector. 
my pickup's reversed. Uh, the neck is spec'd out a little differently. And you took away the uh, M from the uh, yeah. from the inlay, although you could have kept it for no, Michael. I could have. I could have. Well, there's a there's there's the washboard back there. But nice. Yeah, but dude, this is a killer guitar too. It looks great. Oh, uh, it's fantastic. I man. actually do like your yellow and black theme. I'm quite a big fan of yellow with black. You, you so. know what it reminds me of? It, it, it this especially this reminds me of like a Corvette. Oh if hell yeah! If a Corvette were a guitar, that'd be it. You know? Very nice. Well, look, thank you very much for your time. I know you've got a busy day, as do I. Hey, man. Thank it's been you great so to much. connect. It's really it's very great. nice to you and a pleasure. Thanks for having me on, man. I'm, it's an honor. Next time you're in Japan, we're definitely going to catch up. For sure. No you, you speak Japanese? Of course. I live in Japan. Let me hear you speak some Japanese. <laughs> 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 it always amazes me. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. All right. You're well, a smart you... man. Thank you, Michael. I appreciate it. All right. Well, we're done. Thank you very much. And uh, anything last you want to say? Just bye bye. Uh, everyone listening and watching, I love you from the bottom of my heart. Can't wait to see you, whether it's in Japan or wherever, anywhere in the world. God bless you guys. Pick one of these guitars up. You'll love it.